Hey you guys, sorry about the intro, but I was in the middle of making a fleece throw and I was like, maybe I should show you guys. So let me go ahead and start this video for you guys and show you what I'm making and possibly how to make it. All right, let's get to it. Okay, so I am currently making this fleece throw for my husband. He is a Chicago Bears fan. So, he talked me into making him a fleece throw so he can stop using my butterfly throw, right? <laughs> so, here it is. This is the fleece throw right here. And I am currently working on the other side. I did one side already. And um, at that time, I was like, let me show you guys how to make this or what I'm doing, basically. So, what I did was lined up the two fabrics so i got the solid color fabric which is navy to go with the top color printed fabric fleece throw or fleece shall i say sorry you guys um and i took these little paper clips here and lined them up both of them and then i just went and cut strips with my fabric scissors I also have a rotary cutter that I use um, sometimes to do this but today I'm like okay I really don't need it I might need it but I didn't end up needing it I just use these okay and I have my cutting mat here um, it's a stamp it up cutting self healing mat so what I pretty much did was um, put these two together, both, uh, fleece fabrics and cut about, I want to say they are one inch strips, maybe a little over, um, one inches, probably two inches. Yeah. And cut them four inches, one by four strips. And so basically what I'm doing is tying a knot here and stretching the fabric to get these cute little knot bows. Okay, so give me a second. I will show you guys exactly how I tie the knot. All right. Okay, so I'm hoping this angle is good for you guys. So basically what I am doing is taking the two fabrics like so and making a knot a simple knot like if you're tying your shoe one knot here and then i do a, a double knot and i tie it tight like that then i take these two pieces hold them together between my two fingers and i pull to stretch this knot out and then i pull again upwards to tighten it one more time and then i stretch it out again to make the end pieces longer so I just continue that all the way around until the two fabrics are completely tied together and that is pretty much how I make my fleece throws you guys the knot fleece throws okay um, I don't really work on other type throws I don't um, sew my throws or anything like that i just pretty much do the knotted throws if that makes any sense you guys sorry um and sorry if i'm going too fast but i'm going to finish this one here and then i'm going to show you guys exactly how i cut the fabric and then again with tying it for you guys okay so let's get started okay so like i said i line up my fabric make sure it's lined up good make sure all the wrinkles are out of it then i take my scissors and i really don't measure but i'm going to say is one to two inches okay and across and then one to four inches up okay in length it's up to you how long you want your little knots to be. Um, 
So, yeah, I do about four inches. Okay. And I just cut like so. And continue on again. I'm not being precise with the measurements because at the end, it it to me it all looks put together. So I don't think you need to be too precise when you're cutting long lengthwise, but when you're sorry when you're cutting widthwise, <laughs> but when you're cutting lengthwise, you kind of want to make sure you stay within the parameters of what you started with okay so I made me a couple cuts and again I'm going to tie my knots like so one and then knot two and then pull and tug make sure this knot is secured by pulling the knot together and then pull and tuck and I'm gonna continue that on down the line so I hope this is helpful to those who really don't know how to do this because I know I didn't know how to do it the lady at the store kind of showed me um, how to do it a while ago because I seen it hanging up and I was like oh how do you do that <laughs> so yeah and it's pretty simple and I think that's why I like doing these type of throws because it is so simple and you can do it in no time like literally no time I've been working on this for maybe 20 30 minutes and I always um, already have like a side and a half completed so yeah it doesn't take long at all And that's pretty much it, you guys. So thank you for watching. Go ahead, like, comment, and subscribe down below. And tell me what you guys think of this uh, method. Also, for those that know how to do this and who are experts, let me know another method um, down in the comment section below. Let me know what I should be doing or shouldn't be doing. Um, let me know if there's another technique, which I already, I know it is, but I don't know how to do the technique. So yeah, just down in the comment section below, you guys, let me know. All right. Until then, I will talk to you guys later. Thank you for watching. Bye.